Alrighty guys, here we are. Back with another verse video. First one in a while. I hope you guys are excited. Make sure you guys like the video if you guys like these sort of verse videos. Tells me to make some more, but here we are. We've got Stooley here, aka Don't Get Brave as well. Uh, or uh, Stooley on the Stooley. And then Don't Get Brave is returns for our two champ players here. And they're going to be on Oregon defense starting against our five coppers. Make sure you guys put your predictions for the match down in the comments. Very excited to see who you guys think is going to take this win. Now, with that being said, looks like the coppers are droning out. A lot of their drones right now are getting shot. And it looks like I have a UI bug. Um, That's not good. Oh, it's gone. All right, perfect. Well, with that being said, shotgun trying to get the first pick of the rounds on big window here. But returns is going to try to stop that. Reach now getting opened by Jay as he's going to be playing on that master balcony. Shotgun as well as office uh, officer both outside of big window right now. Just trying to hold returns down. But wow, Jay going to get the first kill of the round onto Stooley who's going to be peeking. I'm not even sure where, maybe inside of trophy. But either way, that's going to leave returns all by himself in a 1v5. But he's going to start it off very nicely, refragging, immediately taking out Jay now. Going for the swing into Master. He's going to be fighting Origin, but he's going to go ahead and fall off now. Shotgun jumping into that big window as well as Officer. And they're going to be running in towards the attic rotate to try to take out returns. But he's going to swing that breach, narrowly missing the shots. But he's not going to miss on Officer, who gets taken out on the attic rotate now. Peeking behind the shield, but Shark will take him out. Returns not quite able to clutch out the 1v5 and Stooley letting him down a little bit by getting taken out so early. Round number one on Oregon, going to go to the Copper players. All right, guys. So with the two champ players losing upstairs, they're going to go downstairs now. And they're also going to choose some different operators. Returns going to be hopping on the Goyo and Stooley on the Oryx. Returns did go for a little spawn peek here. Did about 10 damage to Origin. Not, nothing really significant. Looks like the Copper players are going to be trying to do some form of a West take. Maybe trying to do like a Freezer main take. A lot of people outside this white window here. Kind of unsure of what they're even wanting to do. But that's going to be Shotgun opening it up. And it looks like him and Officer are once again going to be entering in through a window. Trying to push the site. Officer, not really sure what he's clearing exactly. But both of our champ players here are downstairs in the site at the moment. Turn's going to be shooting some drones in Bunker, and he's going to have to fall off now as Origin is pushing up as that knock, and Jay with the Flores drones are going to open up that wall that Stooley is currently trying to put head holes into. Well, very few reinforcements down as the champ players did not have very long to set up the site, so keep that in mind here. Shark and Officer, as well as Shotgun, all pushing Freezer right now, and this is where the bomb is going, so we're looking at a main Freezer take here. This is... Fairly aggressive freezer take as well. You don't generally see like this many people just filing down the stairs like that. Stooley trying to peek the head holes slash rotate down into freezer. Jay and uh, Origin still back in bunker. Just trying to antagonize the champs. But Return's going to start off the round here with the first C4 kill. Right? Great C4 by him. That's going to be shotgun being taken out. And Origin's going to go ahead and rotate off of Bunker. But Jay is not going to. He's going to use his Flourish drone to open up the wall into sight. And he's going to get a kill onto Stooley. But Returns is going to immediately refrag, taking out Knock. But Jay is in sight. But he's not looking at the door. He's looking at the head holes. And Returns will definitely punish him for that. Officer also not looking at the right place. Struggling to control that recoil. Returns going to do a little bit of damage onto Shark, who's... Basically just scrambling here to find a place to plant. Officer finally taking out that beeper now. But here comes the swing by Stooley. Or by returns from the rotate. Doing a little bit of damage onto Shark once again. No C4. So he's going to have to go for the swing. More damage goes onto Shark as the two copper players swing now. Shark going for the hallway. But he doesn't know that <laughs> returns is inside of freezer and the first kill for returns here in the 1v2 is going to get picked up it's all up to officer now and i don't know if he really knows where returns is exactly here comes the swing returns just trying to hold that bomb right now 10 seconds left officers grab the bomb gonna take a little bit of damage now five seconds left gonna go for the plant but surely this is an easy kill for returns he's just gonna swing the head holes 
And that's round number two. Actually going to the two champ players. Returns really stepping up there to win that round. Take a look at the scoreboard. He's currently going six and one. Stooley, zero and two. So only two rounds. Let's give him a little bit of a break. But we definitely need to see Stooley step it up here if the two champs would like to win this game. All right, so the champ successfully winning downstairs means they're going to now be heading upstairs. But it looks like the copper players have a plan in mind for that, as a lot of them are just outside of the big window. So possibly a big window take here. We even see a glass coming out from Origin and an Amaru from Jay. So I'm very interested to see how these two operators are going to be played. But so far, return swinging the big window, and that's the first kill of the round onto the copper team. So not a great start if you're on the copper squad jk or yeah jk underneath the hatch right now possibly going to be trying to amaru up that could be really interesting stooley is right here next to the hatch so i don't think it's going to work for him but we'll see if maybe jay could pull that off later in the round shotgun trying to shoot in towards the big window here trying to take out returns as he's on about half hp now origin looks like he's going to be Solo pushing trophy side, trying to just antagonize the champs from the other side of the map. Not a bad choice at all, but it looks like Returns is going to be trying to put a stop to this right now as he rotates in the attic and he's going to peek those head holes and there's the glass being taken out instantly. And oh no, Jay underneath is going to down Returns. He could Amaru up and that's exactly what he's going to do. Will Stooley get there in time to res? Not so far. JK trying to swing, but Stooley is going to be able to down him. Another one swings in from big window and Stooley takes him out. That just leaves Shark all alone on the big window. One minute left. Stooley finishing off that frag and he's not really sure where the last player is. So he's going to play slow. Just try to get some info. Shark going to hop in now. 55 seconds left. Stooley's going to go for that res and it looks like Shark doesn't really know about it. C4 in hand by Stooley, so he could deny that plant. Here comes the swing. Shot's going to go off. And, ooh, great shots. That's going to be returns taking out Shark. And another round for the champs who are actually leading this game 2-1 to one right now. I guarantee some of you guys did not expect the champs to be up 2-1 to one right now. So make sure you guys like the video and make sure you guys follow these guys. I'll have the links to their socials down below in the description. And while you're down there... If you guys are interested in playing with your favorite content creators, your favorite pro players, learning from your favorite players, then make sure you check out Six Shot Academy, a community resource that I started with Athena and I'm now currently working on with other content creators and pro players to help you improve at Siege. We do nightly TMs, ranked games, VOD reviews, coaching. We have a course, et cetera, et cetera. There's more information on the website, so make sure you guys check that out with the link in the description. You definitely are not going to want to miss that. Ooh, a run out from Jay is going to take out Returns instantly. Wow, Returns was just not expecting that white window hop out. And that's going to be deadly. Leaving Stool now all in the 1v5. But no, it looks like his internet is going to drop. And we might just need to replay that round. <laughs> all right, guys. So this is going to be the first round that the champs are on attack. So I'm very excited to see how they choose to attack this with just two members. Right now, they are pretty split up. Returns is all the way by the front door, while Stooley is all the way outside by Big Tower. The Coppers have one downstairs, so we'll see what sort of push that the champs choose to do based off that. Looks like Stooley is going to go ahead and rappel and possibly try to enter in through the Big Tower. Opening up that kid's window right now. Looks like the champ players are not really sure where the bomb is. That or they think that there's someone roaming, but as we can see... All except Origin is on site. Origin is actually making his way upstairs, so maybe Returns will get a frag here in a second. Stooley right on this window right now, and little does he know that Origin is right on the armory door at the moment. And Stooley's going to go ahead and jump off the balcony and fall off that angle. And, well, it has been almost a minute and a half so far, and really the champ players have made zero progress. No map control has been gained, and no picks have been found either. Origin still holding above right now, trying to limit the push here from our two champ players. Looks like Returns probably just going to go ahead and push off the drone of Stooley. Not worry about Oryx too much for the time being. The rest of the copper players are all on site. They're really allowing Origin just to roam around and wreak havoc on the two champ players here. They really don't have the man count to do an effective roam clear very efficiently. But with that being said, Returns will finally get the kill onto Origin. And the one Oryx roaming player is going to get taken out now. And 
Returns is going to be trying to push Freezer. Interesting side for the head holes to be on. It's going to bite Shotgun, though, as he's going to get taken out. Unfortunate for him. Here comes the Ash Charge to try to take out this shield that Officer is hiding behind. Fortunately for him, though, he does have these zombie barricades that he can go ahead and throw down as well. It's duly going to be rotating through the front side, trying to do a split take here. Our two champs are going to be pushing the front with only 30 seconds left. A nade going to do significant damage to Officer, and we might see another coming through right now as Dooley tries to push up, but wow, returns another kill into Officer. Great shots by him. That's going to be the Azami going down. So it's going to be up to Jay and Shark to try to win this now. But Stooley is already planting and Returns is already holding the cross. 10 seconds left, but the bomb is down. Can the two champs hold the cross effectively? Here comes the swings from Stooley and he's going to take out Shark. Another swing from the hallway. And that's going to be Jay getting taken out by Returns. 1-3. to three. Who expected the champs to be winning 3-1 to one right now? Absolutely exceptional performance here. Well played to these guys. All right, so the coppers were unable to win downstairs, so they're going to rotate upstairs this time. We'll see if it makes a difference. Stooley holding that same angle we saw him holding before. And Returns going to be trying to push up into the game's window here. Looks like there's still setup going on in sight. Officer barricading the white door for some reason. Head holes on this wall. Not sure I'd put those there. But we'll see how it works for him. Stooley going to be repelling once again on the big window, trying to get an angle into the kid's bedroom. And fortunately for him, this time, the bomb site is actually kid. So maybe he will get a frag from that. Taking a look at where Returns is. He's going to be solo pushing the Master Balk right now. And it looks like Shark is going to be trying to contest that. Officer going to be taking a little bit of damage from this grenade that Stooley just threw. So he's going to be one nade down. Jay with the shotgun trying to make some head holes here. Clean that up on the attic side. And so far, honestly, the attackers are just trying to find a pick. They're kind of stalling out, though. A minute and 40 seconds left, so about half of the round already gone and no picks just yet. But right there, as I say, it returns is going to change that. He's going to take out Jay, and he's going to have to take out another one as Origin is still inside of attic. He's going to be trying to peek, but... Will he be able to get the kill? So far, he is not. Origin going to try to drop the hatch, but returns. He's going to stop him. Mute being a one speed, you can no longer run away like that. Stooley just holding an angle. Going to burn that Aruni gate. That way, returns can go ahead and ash charge that shield from attic. And it looks like our two champ players here are going to do an attic push. Only one minute left, but they are... Ramping up to be in a very good spot here. Shark, inside of games, in this little cubby right now, he's kind of pushing himself in a corner. This could be a great opportunity for either a nade or um, a pinch here from our two champ players. 40 seconds left. Drones are going out and, you know, Return's going to see no one inside of kids and he's just going to walk in because of that. Shark's going to go prone in the middle of sight and he's actually going to get that kill onto Returns, but Stooley will instantly refrag Taking um, taking him out now. It's going to be Officer and Shotgun. The last two remaining. 20 seconds left. Shotgun sits inside of games holding the angle on the door. And he's going to get that kill. The champ's trying to steal away with this win. But the copper's not letting it happen just yet. 3-2 to two now. Jay all the way inside a small tower right now. Trying to do some rap plays here. We'll see if it works out for him. Copper players are going to be forced to go all the way back downstairs though. And remember they did previously lose this bomb site. And our two champ players are on match point. So if they can pull through with the win here, we will be going to map number two and our best of three here. But with that being said, Stooley droning out meeting. Returns droning out above. Two champ players just trying to gain some intel and figure out where the copper players are. And Jay doing the exact same thing. Cycling through cams, trying to figure out where the two champs are. Origin searching around to see if he can see any drones or any sort of utility. But he's not going to get anything with that just yet. Looks like our champ players are actually droning out the entire of the map. They want to make sure that everything is clear. But will they drone Jay? He's all the way back in the furthest part of the map from them. And it looks like Stool and uh, Returns are already off their drones. So they're not going to be droning out Jay whatsoever. So Stool is going to be opening up that meeting hatch now. And it looks like Returns is a little bit skeptical that this is clear. And oh wow, a pre-fire coming out almost taking out Jay. And there it is. Jay is going to be taken out. 
Just seems like uh, Returns knew someone was over there. He had a feeling about it. Stooley going to take out Origin. So very quickly, things became a 2v3. And we're going to see Returns trying to push down through the freezer stairs there. Stooley going to be trying to possibly nade these head holes. They're trying to get an angle through it. They're putting the head holes on the wrong side for some reason. Shotgun peeking fairly wide inside of Freezer right now. And Stooley looking to contest that here in a second. And it looks like Return's going to be pushing above in meeting. And he needs to be careful. His officer is potentially on a flank here inside of Green Hall. Stooley droning at the site, trying to count heads. If he sees there's only two on site, he might be able to call for a flank. But it looks like Returns is going to know about the flank. But what's bad about this is Officer is leaving his team in a 2v2 on site. So if Stooley and Returns can rush site now, leaving Officer off site, they will definitely have the advantage here. Grenades are going to come out from Stooley, and that's going to be Shotgun being taken out. Shark all alone in sight now inside of Laundry. This is exactly what I was talking about. Stooley now going for that kill, and he's going to grab it. Officer, the last one, having to rotate back in through Freezer, and there's Stooley to shut him down, exactly like I was saying. The Azami just went off site and left things... Uh, pretty clear on site for the two champs to take, and that's exactly what they did. And with that being said, they're going to win map number one. All right, guys, here we are with map number two, and we're going to be starting it off with a spawn peak from Returns here on Coastline. Stool even go for a spawn peak of his own, but unfortunately for them, looks like no one is going to fall victim to it just yet. So it looks like Officer is going to be trying to repel on this hookah window. Going to be fusing in, and that's going to be all the utility and all the Azamis that... Returns might place in here. Going to be destroyed. Shark right now trying to do a little bit of a quick peek onto Stooley. But Stooley is not having any of it. He's not even going to try to risk dying. He's just going to go ahead and rotate off now. Shotgun all the way outside on the ruins. But Stooley is going to swing. And I'm not really sure what Shotgun was looking at. But he's going to get taken out. Jay pushing underneath right now. And wow, Shark going to swing the hookah door and actually take out Returns. Leaving Stooley... All in the 1v4 now. He's going to have to ace if he wants to win this. And they're going to be planning right in the smoke. Surely with the warden, he's going to be able to see that. And he will. That's the planner down. Officer goes down. Jay trying to refrag. Coming up the stairs really quickly. Stool going to rotate off though. But Jay running up the stairs like I was saying. Going to get that last kill. And the first round of Coastline goes to the Copper players. A spawn peak from Returns. We're going to be seeing Origin spawn out here. But... Is Returns going to run out? He is. He heard the sound of the Iana clone. The Iana clone baited out Returns. So that was actually a pretty smart move there by Origin to bait with the Iana clone. He's going to save himself from being spawn peaked there. Officer trying to throw some cams into sight, gathering the info that he can, but that's going to be immediately taken out. Officer trying to take underneath right now. Possibly going to be throwing up some cams to the floor, trying to push in through Cool Vibe. So we'll have to take... A look at him later in the round and see what he is up to. Origin droning out billards right now, possibly from Aquaside. Yeah, he's currently underneath, so he could be trying to go from a nade underneath right now. We'll see what happens. Here comes the drone from Origin right now, and he's trying to Z ping. So it looks like he is trying to nade from underneath, but not in time as Returns is going to get a kill onto Shark. So looks like Shark kind of pushed a little too far into the site, but here comes the first grenade and. And he's not going to successfully nade from below. So no damage will be done. Stooley is about half HP though. I'm not really sure how that happened. But however it happened, Shotgun is in sight. And he's in sight with the Diffuser. Origin finally going to rotate off of Blue Bar. And he's going to be trying to nade in through this vase. And that nade is going to land on top of Stooley's head. What a great nade by Origin. They're able to take out Stooley. So it's all up to returns. He's about 55 HP in the 1v3. He does a good amount of damage on the shotgun, but he's so low himself. The Yana clone is pushing up, just spam pinging exactly where Returns is playing. And he's going to mount this Azami and try to gain some cover from it. But shotgun able to shoot through the wall and take him out. And that's going to be the second round for the copper players. And wow, that is, that is unfortunate. You know if your Returns there, you're hurting. Shark says that that might be the luckiest shot that he's ever seen in his life. Let me know down in the comments. Was that shot really that lucky? I don't think it was that lucky. <laughs> Returns opening up the hookah door, so we're likely to see a run out spawn peak here coming out from him. He's going to be leaving Struly all on site to reinforce, and let's see if anybody falls victim to this spawn peak here from Returns already. Jay going to be spotted from that cam, and Origin throwing out this Iana clone. 
Honestly, that might fool returns. We're going to see what happens here. He's going to run out. And oh no, Jay going to be taken out. Amaru, she tried to stay in spawn long enough to avoid the spawn peak, but it just wasn't long enough. Zuli finishing up the site setup, placing his last Goyo trap. And the defense is already looking good. Officer trying to gain some intel in the site with zero right now and shotgun's gonna rotate over to that kitchen window and looks like they are going to try to execute on kitchen window as we see three copper players all outside of one window right now. Returns shooting through the wall into office right now trying to get a kill onto origin here but origin's gonna toss a nade and just go ahead and leave a minute and a half left for the attackers. And they have yet to get a pick or really much map control here. Origins is the only one really in the building. And he's just running around trying to find a pick. Returns able to melee that Osa shield on the kitchen window. And stop them from peering in. But Shark will go ahead and disable it. Going to nade in through the window now. Returns going to have to fall off to not die to another nade. He will do just that. And the pre-fires are coming out onto the Osa. Shaka trying to get a frag but... Really, everyone is just holding angles trying to get a kill and it's not working for either team so far. And Officer taking a load of damage right now. Not even really sure how. Looks like Shotgun's going to be trying to push in through service. But Stooley going to stand up and just take Officer out. He was on such low HP and well, Stooley's just going to finish him off. Here comes the nade from Origin. Going to throw that deep into the site. Returns, narrowly dodging it. No damage done to either champ player here so far. 2v3 and 40 seconds left. Yana still peeking the kitchen door. Narrowly missing the shots onto return. And wow, we're going to see Shark hop in through the kitchen window. And he's taking a lot of damage, but so is returns. But finally, Shark's going to get taken out. Returns wins the gunfight. Stooley takes out Shotgun. And now it's all up to Origin, who's just on the kitchen door. He's going to take a... Fair amount of damage from that C4. Returns finally able to re reload his gun. And looks like Origins is going to try to rotate over to service. But the Goyo trap is stopping him from doing so. He can't even walk in because of the fire. And here comes the swing. Stooley's going to try to get the last kill here. Two seconds left. And it looks like neither team will do it. But that is the first win on Coastline for our two champ players. All right. We are on round number four. And this is also the first round of Coastline that our two champs are playing on attack. So let's see how they are going to go about handling this. Shark inside of Billards trying to break the glass so they can hear if anyone's repelling on big window, but little do they know, Returns already on the big window and he's going to take out Shark instantly. Literally 30 seconds into the round, he's going to get taken out. Origin trying to hide in a rat spot. I sure hope neither of the champs go to wall bang the couches. That would be unlucky for Origin here. Returns just sitting on the roof, trying to see if anyone's going to peek that sunrise window. Stooley trying to bait out any peaks while he's sitting on ruins. And it looks like we're going to have another standstill here for a while. While both teams wait to see who peaks first. The push is fairly split right now as you've got Returns trying to push by Aqua. And he's going to drone out Officer who's sitting on the Uka rotate right now. And ooh, that's risky running in front of where Stooley just was. But fortunately... Stooley has rotated with returns, and they're going to be trying to dual push onto a bomb site here. Grenade goes out from returns. Not going to land. Looks like he might try to throw the second to disable that Malusi as well. Second grenade going in, and this one's going to be close to the Cade and the Smoke. But it's going to miss. Jay somehow alive from that grenade. One nade left from Stooley. And they know that Jay is prone here, so they could try to go for the kill. And they just spotted out Origin, who's prone on the hookah couch. And Return's going to get a kill onto Jay. Stooley with a kill onto Origin. And Return's another kill to Shotgun. All of a sudden, it's a 2v1 with Officer on the flank as the last Copper player left. Stooley doesn't know it, and he's going to get down from behind. Returns is quick to get off the clone and pre-fire the flank as he's going to run into sight and try to plant. Officer going to rotate back towards 90 call, and this is definitely going to give... Returns enough time to get the bomb down. 35 seconds left, but it doesn't matter. The bomb is planted. Here comes the clone to see where Kate is at. And now that the info is gained, oh no. You're going to have an Iana repelled. And you cannot see Iana when she's repelling. Actually, no, he's going all the way to ruins. It looks like Returns going to go all the way to ruins to hold the bomb. And Officer just has no idea whatsoever. He's still trying to clear out towards Aqua, but little does he know. Returns is right here waiting. 
Oh no, he can't quite see him. Here it is. The kill from Ruins returns, going to win that round. And honestly, a great attack coming from our two champ players here. Very smart to go out to Ruins. I thought he was going to repel. Right, ladies and gentlemen, round number five. This round is very important as it determines who gets match point. And that is really, really crucial for our two champ players to have here as any mistakes they make are almost guaranteed to leave to the round loss. So I remember the two champs saying that the last operator they wanted the defense to play was Clash. An officer is on Clash. So we'll see how they choose to handle this. They're also going to have to deal with the Mira of Shark. So I'm very curious to see how they go about clearing all of that utility. Stooley back on the ruins. And it looks like Returns is on the big window right now. Trying to gain some info. Possibly get some frags here. Two minutes and 15 seconds left. So once again, we're going to have that little stall out as we're waiting for both teams to peak. And... Wow, maybe we're not going to have the stall out of Stoolies to get that kill on the shotgun, breaking the, the cycle we've been having of this long stall. Returns is going to drop onto the Aqua Balkan. He's going to be trying to push Aqua now, and Origin, I believe, knows about this as he's going to hear that, and he's on bottom white right now, going to be trying to push up and stop this from happening. Stoolies still all the way outside on the ruins, trying to get any angles that he can into the site. Jay already trying to get an angle into luggage, but unfortunately for him, that's not where Returns is. Stooley finally getting off of Ruins, and he's going to rotate to the Aqua Bauk to try to support his teammate. Jay swinging the... Actually, he's opening up an angle through Quad Ball to get an angle to the site. This is a very nice angle for him. Officer on that Clash already being a big nuisance to the two champs as he's pushing up and pinching the champs into a really tough spot. As you can see, the Coppers are actually pushing white stairs as well as in aqua so that's forced returns to push onto blacktop now in a position that he probably doesn't want to be in but stooley finally here to support his teammate is going to take out clash so that's the one operator they wanted gone and stooley is able to do that now and he's going for a second and he's going to get that origin is going down i believe that's the third for him on the round and he's going to be going for a fourth as shark swings but shark is going to get the frag and it's a 2v1 now as returns pushes through the 90 hall Jay inside of VIP, and I'm not sure that either player knows, but they're so close to each other. 30 seconds left. They're going to have to push in. Will Returns look to the right? I'm not sure if he will. Jay doesn't realize it, but Returns is just right next to him, and I'm not even sure what Jay is looking at. He's fighting his demons right now as Returns is swinging up in the hallway. Shots go through the wall, but they're going to miss. Low ammo. No ammo left from Returns, and Jay will take him out, and the match point goes to the Copper players. Great try from Returns there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are on potentially the last round here as the Coppers hold match point. It's all up to returns and Stooley here to win. And what a better combo of operators to be playing other than Thatcher and Thermite. The OG duo. Is it going to be enough to clutch out the round, though, and bring them to OT? We shall see. The defense is going penthouse. And oh, no, Shotgun's going to swing. And Stooley is there to take him out. And Returns is there as well to take out Shark. So... Literally, in the first 30 seconds, the champs are able to take out two of the copper players and make this a 2v3. So, great start by them so far. Jay is all the way downstairs in lobby, off-site, leaving only two, only one on site. Officer is the only player on site. If Returns or Stooley can drone and count heads on site and realize that no one is on site, they can easily take here. Returns going to be trying to open up this VIP wall. And he's not really going to have any sort of trouble with that. Officer still alone in sight right now as Origins is rotating up through pool vibes. Jay now finally rotating back towards sight. He's going to be top white. Trying to make some head holes in the wall to try to deny the push into sight. Origin though going to be rotating back downstairs as he doesn't want to push that way. Probably going to rotate towards white stairs. Returns now engaging with the clash and... He's going to be pushing her all the way back into the bomb site. Remember, Clash is the only one here on site. You do have Jay, but he's below the C4 now. Origin finally rotating up to help, but is it going to be enough? It is. He's going to be able to down return. So Stooley, where is he? He has to clutch this now. The 1v3 is in his hands. The first kill goes to him. He's going for the second. Origin on 1 HP. Jay flanking him, though. Does Stooley know that Jay's on the flank? One minute left. No info for Stooley. And the flank from Jay will be enough to take him out. And ladies and gentlemen, the Coppers are going to win 
map number two i think we're gonna leave it at there so thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed make sure you guys follow the two champ players down below in the description i'll have their twitters make sure you guys like the video subscribe if you guys are new turn on those notifications and thank you so much for watching